Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at exporting files within TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. But otherwise, back in the program here, now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on import and export, where we'll be covering the um, two methods of going importing files into your program and then also exporting files out. I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, in today's video, like I mentioned, we're going to be looking at exporting files. Now, this is obviously the opposite to the previous video we did, which is getting files inside the program. This will be exporting files out in a format that um, we can read it by perhaps another program. That is the big difference between um, save and open. Save and open is normally relevant to the current program, so TrueCut already works, where import and export allows you to um, cross-platform or cross uh, go across different programs. So that uh, let's say you design your files in something like Adobe Illustrator, you can import it into this program and if you have to for some reason you can also export it from here and send it to a client or so forth so now with exporting there's three ways we can go about it the first way is you're on our system bar which is the icons next to the new open and save it is the little arrow pointing upwards towards the image meaning export so it's going out that's the one way another way we can go to our main menu on top go to file to the first drop down menu then uh, we navigate to export that is number two and then next to that is a shortcut control e for exporting that's also um, quite handy a lot of times those shortcuts are quite universal throughout programs so it's a worthwhile learning them so control i for import and control e for export but i'm just going to use a standard uh, bar here i mean the system bar for exporting so what we can do is we click export and what happens is it's a rather simple pop-up box we get here like before, we've got the option now for save in, where before this is where we found our thing. So you can use this little button, go navigate to where you want, maybe pictures or something like that. And then um, create folders even if you want to, next to that for the up button. And then you can also view your large icons and so forth. And then under that, you will name your file. So whatever it will be, I'll just call it my test for now. And then underneath that, we've got save as type. So this, if you click on that little arrow, we've got two different formats, .ai and .plt. So you can choose which type of format you want to export it as. And then when you're finally ready, you can simply just click save, and then it'll tell you the export file successful. Then it should be there. So now if you go back to import, you will see there's our test file with our graphics on it. So that is quite convenient. And uh, yeah, that is it on, I think this mini series on importing and exporting as well. So otherwise we head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You will find that uh, we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the videos you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, and then uh, fill in the mini form and we'll make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.